After that, we decided to finally break ground on a new experiment. Is there anything we should know about this concert hall? Sleep here. Oh my god, man, it's weird. I can't hear anything that they're saying. Dude, we had a whole conversation like this. We found some amazing stuff. Shortly after the investigation, later in the week, on January 28th, Connor and I decided to go by ourselves back to the hotel to continue the spirit box experiment and see if we could get any more interesting interaction. We went up and just investigated with Carl and myself later that week just to try the spirit box experiment again. This time, Carl decided to plug into the AM frequency range and see what words he was hearing, and Eddie, which is one of the spirits who likes to talk with Carl and sort of poke fun at him every now and then, started to come through. Please approach Carl and tell him, hello. Can you have Carl say hello? You know? That almost rhymes with hello. Can you have him say the name of a color, please? Tell him the name of a color. We something. Just for the audience at home here, I feel kind of anxious and I think it might just be because it feels like I'm almost alone in the room because Carl's so out of it, you know? Baby? <laughs> and apparently I'm being made fun of by the spirits. But the idea behind this is that he can't know what questions I'm asking. If we can get it right so that the timing is correct that I ask the question, the spirits yeah. hear it and then Carl responds through the voices that come across the spirit box that is ideally the most impressive situation we can have happen. So I'm going to start asking a few really random questions just to see what we might be getting. Accidental. What's your favorite type of candy? Hard. favorite band? I think it's anything. Ed. Where's Eddie? Eddie likes to introduce himself to us. If he's in here, he's a bit of a character. Steven. Steve. And I got the name Steve several times last, last week as well. So that's intriguing. Is your name Steve, sir? They say yes if your name is Steve. Girl? I just heard a noise in the hallway outside. Who's? And I just saw a light come across. That was weird. It was like a sliver, like a moon sliver. It just appeared on the wall over there. That's what he saw the other day. How's it going, man? <sighs> it's good. So, I might have you keep going. Yeah. So if there's any spirits here, I apologize if I felt like I cut you off. Um, I just saw on the wall behind you, like, a moon. <laughs> like a sliver of a moon? Yeah. That's what I saw. It was like almost on the ceiling. Yeah, where it was like up really high. Uh huh. Did it look like when like a light of some sort hits something rounded yes. or lens shaped? That's and exactly up it, on the wall? it looked like I was like, oh, that was a car driving by. And then I'm like, uh, no, it wasn't. Yeah, that's or what I saw. Basement in a closed off room because it, it manifested probably, I'd say, like three feet. 
and then kind of whew, faded away. I'm just oh, real quick going to float this just in case. I can't recreate it, but I thought I saw something right up above on, the on wall, this wall. Right? Did you see yeah, it? I saw this that. Wall. It was like, <laughs> Michelle, sorry, were you talking above with, Michelle were you, were you talking with your hands when you were talking? No. It was, anything I was doing It then? was higher. It was like it was like higher than you know that, a yeah. lens flare like when it's like a half oh, moon. Yeah, yeah. See, okay, yeah. when you do that, but it doesn't. It didn't look the same, really. That's a new one for me. I never see things, and I don't think I could. Well, that's what camera. I said too. Is I never see things either, but I saw that, and you don't either. But you saw the same thing. Let's, let's keep going, and then you can tell me later, because I don't want to have any like input on what you were talking about or anything. Yeah, so. sure, sure. All right. Round two. That was a bizarre little crescent moon thing. Oh, hey Carl. Motion sensor just went off. Hello? Is anybody out there? That motion sensor just went off. Somebody just join us? If there's a spirit here, you're welcome to come on in. That's weird. Yeah. What's your sweep rate? Hey. <laughs> Yo. I was actually asking a question to Carl in time. Hello. Impress. Impressing us? Me. Oh, you want us to impress you? What would you like us to do to impress you? Test. Hmm? You want us to sing a song? I don't know if Carl will sing. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. La da 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 Hey. Hey. Dude. Song. Hello. You don't like my song that I'm singing. Do you want me you. to stop singing? No. <laughs> hmm? I'm going to take that as yes by saying you. No. Dude. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Interesting. A little interaction there. Stuck with me. The record, there's a Green Day song called Stuck With Me. Which John. I, which I can totally sing, but I won't right now. For the record. Are you repeating what I'm saying? Music. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. You're doing well, thank you. Yeah. That's right. Can you hang out. Us? Yeah, we're, we're really happy to hang out Ed. with you. Yeah. That. Can you tell Carl the uh, name of a food? Yeah. Spice. You like movies? Absolutely. Me too. What's your favorite movie? Credit. It's not the most exciting part of the movie, but yeah. <laughs> the laughing now. Eddie, Eddie. Asshole. <laughs> Perfect. 
That was awesome. Thank you, Eddie. Now, Eddie is one of our recent spirits there at the concert hall, and he's got kind of a sense of humor. We didn't exactly get off to the right foot with him back in the day when he first started showing up, but now we have a little bit better relationship with him. And as much as we tease him, he teases us back. And he has a nickname for me, and it's the word asshole. And so, of course, as the receiver, I might hear the word asshole come through the spirit box, and I might think, oh, that's funny, I know that that's Eddie's nickname for me. But I had no idea that just before I said that, Connor had asked the question, Eddie, what is your nickname for Carl? Can you tell Carl what you think about? Asshole? <laughs> Perfect.